Hello everyone, this is a video about this Walkman, uh, they, they used to call this a, a mini boombox and um, it's not really boombox but it looks like one and it's very capable, it's recording, it has auto reverse and so on and so forth and uh, it has FM, MW and 8 uh, SW uh, shortwave radio and it's very precise and it has a very long antenna so that you can use it and uh, the model number is Sony WA8800 and this one is in near mint condition but before I uh, go ahead and I show you the rest of what I got here for you let me just tell you please whatever that you do with this do not hold this from these points or pick it up from these points because these they just dent very easily so please, if you want to grab it and take it somewhere, take it from the center, not from here, because it's really difficult to get the dent out. And I have opened one of these, both of these, obviously. I have opened them and uh, you know, uh, cleaned them and put them back in. And... Uh, I opened one of them for you just to have a look and as you see is really really fragile so please do not do that and uh, if yours is coming off what you can do is you know just is exactly what I have done just put some sort of double-sided adhesive here and there and there and then connect it uh, attach it back but for this purpose you know I just left one side connected and I have to put the other sides in place and this one I've done the same to avoid the dust uh, gathering in here if you put a sticker double-sided adhesive here or there so whenever that the dust is settles on here and imagine double-sided adhesive is here and there so dust is gathering there so only put the double-sided adhesive at these corners uh, preferably on the unit itself on these corners or you can put a little bit of it here as well and then connect it and uh, put it back in place I just put it back in place in order to protect the speaker while I am using this so let's let's talk about the price of this the price of this before i show you is, is, is let me just take this off i don't want to damage this but you know that this unit is in mint condition i changed the belt i put a service in there i took some images from inside the auto reverse function didn't work the play button was wobbly it still could be wobbly but if you play a 90 minutes tape uh, cassette tape you might encounter uh, wow um, flutter a lot but if you put a 45 minutes or one hour tape in there it still is good but uh, uh, what I do with the tapes I just tap it very hard on both sides like this not here and there on one side of the tape and then a lot harder than what I'm doing right now and then is it the tape is going to run 
much smoother than normal anyway the price of this varies if you have the case like this this case is very fragile and you have to really really be careful with these cases I am not gonna use it a lot just in the storage and it's getting to the stage that is you see it's cracking here but it still is is good and it is uh, uh, it, it looks really really bad but still is good and it comes with this uh, microphone a stereo microphone of course this one the stereo microphone is coming with a uh, sort of docking station here that you can point it to wherever that you want and this is a very substantial microphone it's very uh, weighty for the size of it and it has a container on the side here you can put it in there for safekeeping and the case looks like this at the back like this nothing else anywhere else so now let's have a look at this and uh, talk about the price of this the price of this varies if it's not working and is in bad condition maybe 80 to 100 pounds if it's like this in good condition not working again maybe 150 to 160 pounds and if it's in working order like this one is is about uh, 180 to 200 pounds uh, minimum and let's have a look at all around here uh, on the front we have some indicators let me uh, lower the volume and then turn the radio on just to show you the LEDs and one is tune and the other one is the stereo FM stereo and as you see they are going off and on for the copyright reason I just uh, muted just a little bit that is working and both of the speakers they are in great working condition and then here we have the MW scale and here we have 8 SW shortwave radio and is really good and effective and somehow is in good condition not much of a scratches here and there is I of course I have cleaned this meticulously with my OCD cleaned all the volumes and knobs that you see here there are only some uh, color of these arrows small arrows that is just gone I can maybe put it back on with a little bit of tipex but I'm not going to risk it anyway it's been cleaned thoroughly and these are because they are old the belt was really uh, turned to mush and uh, all my table and my fingers they've been jet black under my nails and so on and so forth I cut them for you I clean them just to don't give you the ache and somehow is really in good condition right now but it's still every once in a while uh, it's just a wow and flutter is uh, present but you see is for for the age of this is just expected anyway at the front we have the scale and then here we have the display that shows you the time and uh, uh, counter 
and then here we have alarm mode alarm with radio and uh, alarm just alarm and off and here we have time set that you press that one and with these two you just uh, set the time and everything else alarm off this is the snooze button that if you want you can press it to turn it off and uh, somehow it's, it's really looking good and now use the eject button just to show you the inside and you just turn it this way if you can see that let me just shine the light there is in clean condition right now because I cleaned it thoroughly and the screen here the aperture for the tape is really clean and still it has the logo of Walkman there and that's for the time being it uh, on the front and on the top we have the volume we have the tune or tone we have high normal playback equalizer and low or metal we are, we are going to listen to that and next to it is the tape uh, which means radio is off and then in the middle is the radio and then at the uh, far right is the sleep button that here when you turn the sleep button after an hour uh, no matter if you're listening to radio or the tape it just goes off and then we have the lock here and then we have rewind forward stop eject play record and then here we have the auto reverse function which wasn't working well I show you how I fixed it and then here we have radio band selector FM MW and SW and then here we have the shortwave uh, stations uh, I mean frequencies from 1 to 8 and that's it and this is just a tuning and on the side here we have nothing on this side we have the ISS FM modes one two three and then microphone this is a plug-in power microphone and then the headphone and then three volts uh, power jack which is uh, center negative be careful what you are connecting to this and then at the back we have the map of the world and the time differences and then here is the frequency of the SW short waves from where to what and it's very comprehensive it's very uh, good and then here we have the battery compartment that this uh, sponge is has been replaced and I put this back because the other sponge was uh, deteriorated beyond uh, saving and it takes two AA batteries and that's really it we talked about the price, we talked about how to pick it up. Do not pick it up from the center of these speakers. And you are gonna thank me later on. And then, even if you've done that, when you dented the center of this, remember, do not use hammer or whatever just to push it back in. I show you how I did it uh, and uh, I show you a little bit of uh, inside of this and play a little bit of song and we are going to end this video 
and we eject and put the tape in there is the head feeder so head goes first and it has to be like this when you are pushing it in it shouldn't be like so no gap here if you do that you are gonna bend those two capstans rod that is coming out so it has to be like this you see the gap there and now close it and when you press play uh, I guess I've gone to the point that is nothing is recorded to that part so now let's rewind it and this is just the tape counter and when you take the battery and put the battery in the time is going uh, blank again it starts from zero when you put the battery right back in again so it doesn't have any memory or battery inside to save the uh, settings of the time and your sleep timers and alarms and so on and so forth so let me see if we get to the point that we want <laughs> this is the sound of this on its own this is low or metal or chrome and this is high or normal and it doesn't have any sort of other uh, sound uh, modes that we can utilize but this one is a very uh, capable item because you can record from radio directly to the tape but it doesn't have any inbuilt microphones so you need to use that microphone that it comes with it or use your own microphones and the auto reverse didn't work i show you how i fixed it and i show you a little bit of the inside and since the uh, that bluetooth speaker is on let me just connect it to the bluetooth speaker and then play it pause it the attack just a slightly that's it let me just while it's playing and you are enjoying it let me just find the images of inside here let me just also show you how to take this take the back off it's just three screws not this one this is just for the aerial just these three and two here and one here and then it comes off nothing anywhere else let me just get rid of this for the time being to avoid damaging it and then the back comes off and when the back is coming off you are faced with this 
And then there are three screws, one here, one there, and one there. And then you have to disattach these adhesive and there are two more there and there. And then this PCB is just comes back like like so towards you. And then it goes like so. And the belt was like a mush. Let me just see if I have one without the flash. And the auto reverse. Oh, this one is not bad. Auto reverse was really hard here. So there is a uh, somehow a bronze. This one. A bronze sort of a spring back there that is pushing it off so that was one and then when you press this one it pushes this uh, green button and then it operates these and uh, it was uh, stuck in here and I put a little bit of oil here and I force turned it several times and then now it works like a charm so if you have a difficulty about this so remember is this just green and green here they are connected to each other and I have changed the belt and cleaned inside and I wanted to show you just this is the tuner and is very well built but be careful with all the cables that you have to disattach those adhesives adhesive tapes These are the images, you know, I just took it for my own reference. Unfortunately, there wasn't any uh, uh, electrolytic aluminium capacitors in there. That was really good. And this is the mechanism of the auto reverse and that bronze spring that you can see is pushing it up and the system of tuning the radio is very intricate that is going down there and then let me just see if I can show you it and these are some images of the uh, capacitors in there and the values and where they are situated that's really it let me just stop this and I'll show you this someone uh, that is really uh, into the mechanism of this is going to ask okay while this door let me just open this and take the tape out while this door is opening hmm, how you are moving this through here Ah, what sort of uh, you know trickery you are using to do that because this door is not connected to anywhere here but if you pay attention there is a, a spring like mechanism or rope that is coming 
up to here and is attached to this and is moving it through that I was really scratching my head how this is possible anyway this video is getting a little bit too long uh, more than my usual intricate Walkmans but I guess this one deserves that and I don't uh, you know use the recording and so on if you are interested if you want me to demonstrate that just uh, you know leave a comment down below and I do that in my next video uh, anyhow I hope you enjoyed this video and until my next video take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time